My name is Matthew Minky. We're in Hempstead, Texas. And this is technically Minky Hay is for horses.com. I owned a feed store and actually used to buy hay from other vendors and struggled with the ability to get a good consistent co supply. And after being frustrated for a few years, I said, you know, guys, uh, you know, we used to bell hay on the farm. We've, we've got a piece of land outside of town. Why don't we just grow our own, satisfy our customers' needs? That slowly went from 35 acres that we started baling and hauling all the hay by hand. And now we bail somewhere between 50 and 60,000 square bales a year. The reason that we raise Bermuda grass is because that's what the customer wants. If a horse won't eat it, we can't sell it. We start working on our crop in February. We will typically get our first cutting in May, and we try to continually cut between 30 and 45 days. That equates to an average of about four cuttings per year. We make whatever we make on what God gives us, and we just take each day, each week, and each month as it comes. The way the weather is gonna behave is the number one dictator of having a quality crop in the field make it to the barn in that same condition. The second most important thing actually is our 9870 wind rower. The cutter is the thing that has taken our business from being average to being arguably the best in the area. It really changed the way that we almost do everything. It really impacted our drying time. It really helps us with our color. Those steel on steel conditioners really do a great job of crushing that stem. We are able to get the crop dried so much faster. And, and that's the key, getting it cut, getting it dried quickly, and getting it bailed and in the barn as fast as possible. It's all about speed. Learning about the 1840s and their increased capacity, we decided to give those a try. And so far we've been very pleased. The bales are very consistent and we can bale somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 square bales a day. Our dealer is WRI Outdoors in Bryan, Texas. And we were impressed with their dealership, impressed with the salesman that I worked with and he had the right answers to the questions that we asked. And we have been very happy with the service that we receive. If we have not been down where it has significantly impacted a day's production all year. And that, I cannot say that about every other dealership that I deal with. With a grow-in season that is from May through November, we may have to work a little harder than most people do in the summertime. We do get a little downtime. I definitely love what I do. I really love it in the wintertime. <laughs>